okay so obviously url is not in here because we we are inside a class here this is not a global variable or anything like that so we must uh, find a way to accommodate it so here we have the data here we have the files so i think what we will do is just put uh, receiver right there somebody who is receiving instead of having to get that from the url but we will get that from the url too and let me put that there okay so receiver escape receiver that's okay i think uh, we are good to go goody all right so let's uh try to save this time now we must provide this receiver here so let's go back to messages.php and right there we will use the url because it's accessible over here url 2. now a better way to do things is because somebody can just type in a, a random number there of a user that does not exist so it would be a good idea to to be able to know if this user actually exists before we try to save to the database so how do we do that let's come back here anyway for now let's just give it a test a test run and uh, we'll fix these issues in a, in a bit so resend okay so now we have no errors whatsoever but let's see if we actually saved something and apparently we didn't so usually here it's the query that has the problem so let's come back to message class here maybe we did have an error that's why it didn't pass through here so let's just confirm that by coming back here and seeing if anything was returned so i will say show error so if we had an error we will see it so refresh there we go and so it seems we don't have an error whatsoever so that is good let's come back here and let's see what is happening so let's echo out our query that's the easiest uh, way to find out what's going on so let's refresh and resend so the fact that we are seeing this means uh, it actually did go through here which is good news it means the query itself is the one with the problem so let's go through this one more time so insert into posts send uh, so this is the data that we are sending this is a message uploads blah 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 and then empty so it looks good to me but uh, why isn't it going oh this is the problem right here so insert into posts Ugh, I forgot that see these silly mistakes we make so messages of course so it obviously didn't save in posts because the columns are different there so this would be good so let's refresh again and resend we should have good news now in the uh, database so click and there we go so we have a message this time this is a message so received everything seems fine we have a file in there and this is a message yeah, it looks good the sender the receiver message id awesomeness okay so now the issue i was talking about if i happen to refresh the page for any reason it will ask me to resend the data and that isn't good because i'll end up re resending the same message again so to avoid that we have to redirect the user to exactly the same page again once we are done with this but in our case it's good because we want to return the user to we want to send the user to a different page actually not this one because once you start a conversation you want to now see that message view where you see your message and the other person's message you don't want to stay here 
so that is good information so meaning this return to is uh, useless here which we actually deleted there so header location and what we will do is we'll put root here as is the norm and then we are going to say messages because remember the messages page is exactly uh, is exactly the same page that we'll be viewing our messages from only that we want to have this new here we just have the uh, the thread id at the very end there i think that's about it the thread id or uh, we could use the user id instead of the thread id because sometimes it would be a bit difficult to get the thread id but because the user id is always let's say for example we are on someone's profile and we want to click to see their messages so it will take us to the thread id uh, we would not know what thread id is responsible for the current user and the profile they're looking at if they've communicated before or anything like that so but we will have that user's id on the profile itself so i think it's easier to read using the user's id so we just get our user's id and then we'll look at we'll get the internal user's id and then we'll look at this id that we have here and find the thread id and then we can retrieve all those messages from there so here we'll say messages slash and then obviously i want to add what's inside the the url already sorry about that that's where we will go so that's about it but here let's confirm first that this user exists so at this point i'll put error outside this i'm just going to say error is equal to empty string like that so that we can show some errors in case we do get some errors so let me come back here and see okay so we actually did already have this so what i will do is use that instead for consistency and there as well it's actually already set at the top here so remove that no need 